Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a table runner. But before we get started, I just want to remind you to follow me on Instagram at the Sewing Room channel and also check out my Facebook page. Now this is my go-to table runner. Whenever I need a table runner that's really quick and easy for the last minute, this is what I make. I'm using this gorgeous Christmas fabric. But remember, you can make it out of any fabric that you like. So let's get started. If you're going to purchase fabric for a larger table runner, you're going to need to probably buy twice the amount. So instead of a quarter of a yard, you will need one half yard. When you buy your fabric, it comes folded with the selvage edges together. So you want to leave it that way. Cut your raw edge here straight and move your ruler over 15 inches to do your cut. So if you're making the small one, this is all you need. If you want to make it larger, move your ruler over an extra 15 inches and cut a second piece. If you're making the smaller table runner, remember you only need to cut one and then you want to trim your selvage edges off. If you are making a larger table runner, like I am, stack your two pieces together and all the selvage edges are down here and trim them off all at the same time. So place your ruler there on the edge of your fabric here and then trim the selvage edges off. Then to stitch the two pieces together, pull back one layer of fabric take the next two layers like this. So here's your one piece down here. You don't want to put that in your seam. Move this out and then make sure your edges are all matched up. Pin them together all the way along here and then stitch a half inch seam. Now at your ironing board, open up your seam and press it open. Here is my center seam. Fold the table runner in half at the center seam and smooth your fabric out so that it's even all the way across. Now if you're making the long table runner, and I don't know how long you want to make yours, I am making mine 72 inches. So whatever your desired length is, divide it in half. So that comes out to 36 inches for me. So from this center seam over here, you're going to measure out 36 inches and trim whatever the excess is off. So you would line your ruler up. Now I've already trimmed mine off. Line your ruler up wherever that number is. Remember yours is going to be different depending on the length you desire. And then go ahead and trim the excess off. Then go and cut your lining fabric out using the same cutting method you did for the fabric of the top of the table runner. Also cut you're interfacing out, again using a similar cutting method depending on how you purchase your interfacing, whether it's in a small package or off of a large bolt. Then go to your ironing board and fuse it on. After you've cut your lining out and you've stitched it together, you want to go to your ironing board and put the interfacing on the back side of the table runner. So you will need a damp cloth and a hot iron with steam to do this. And usually what I do is I take a spray bottle of water and I just dampen it really good. Then 
place your iron on there and hold it for 12 to 15 seconds. Then lift and set it down again. And every time you lift and set it down, you want to give it a burst of steam. Hold it for 12 to 15 seconds, then lift, set it down, and go over the entire table runner till it is all fused on. Then let it sit for a few minutes to cool down. Now you want to layer all of your fabrics. So here's my lining fabric and the interfacing, interfacing is on the back. Place the interfacing side down against your table. Take your fabric for the top of the table runner. Put it face down or front side down against that. So now you're looking at the back of your fabric. Place pins around all of the edges to hold it all together. On one side, select an area where you want to leave open that you do not want to stitch over. So here's a pin here and then in the other side I have two pins because this is where you're going to start your stitching. So you're going to stitch around all four sides one quarter inch in from the raw edge. So when you start stitching, you're going to back stitch here on one side of the opening. When you come all the way around to the two pins here, you back stitch again. As you're stitching and you approach your first corner, you want to stop one quarter inch away from this edge. Leave your needle down through your fabric and lift your presser foot. Then turn your table runner, lower the presser foot, and continue stitching. And the reason why you want to leave your needle down is so you don't lose your place. So do that at all four corners. After stitching around all four sides, you want to go to all of the corners and trim a little of the fabric off. This will uh, help to make your corners lie much flatter. So trim it down to about an eighth of an inch wide Trim it off there across that way. Go off to each side of the corner and trim a little bit off. And then of course on the other side. And again go around to all four corners and trim them down. Now reach inside your opening and go all the way down to the end. Reach all the way through there. Grab the end and begin pulling it out of the opening. After turning it front side out, you want to reach inside. You can take something a little pointed, not too sharp because you don't want to poke a hole through your fabric, and go down to your corners. So again, reach all the way down to the corners and begin pushing them out. And then go to all of the other corners and do the same thing. Now press all of your edges flat and make sure they're nice and even all the way around. So now you need to pin your opening closed. So at the opening, turn your edges inside one quarter inch and place pins to hold. Now do top stitching around all of the edges. So come in about an eighth of an inch from the edge and stitch around all four edges. Well, here it is. I just love how it turned out. This fabric is beautiful. And the best part, it was so quick and easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. And don't forget to click on the bell and enter your email address so you receive email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!